Hey guys, it's Scott from Let's Play Easy Mode, and today we're gonna be diving back into the world of Tears of the Kingdom. Hey friends, thanks for watching. If you're new here, then welcome to the channel. And if you're one of our regulars, then welcome back. Today we're gonna to be picking things back up where we left off in Tears of the Kingdom. The last time we played this, it was a lot of fun and we got a lot of stuff done within the story, uh, specifically in the village of Hatino, who I, I still kind of consider them, you know, really the hometown here for Link. Uh, this is where Link and Zelda eventually shared a home after the events of Breath of the Wild, at least in my imagination. But I think that there is enough evidence to kind of hold that, that that might be the case. I know there's a Lot of people in the community who feel that way as well anyway uh there's been a political battle going on between cc and also the current mayor reed and uh and so we went through and we did that and it was a lot of fun uh we had to kind of work things out between the two parties and uh, eventually everybody in the end got along and it was great and there was a lot of you know just relationship restoration and everybody i'm like i wish real politics happened like that you know, where people can talk and find the middle ground and not backbite and, you know, be so cruel to each other, but they eventually apologize to one another and decide to work together and make it work in the end. And it was awesome. We had a really good time uh, with that level. And now we're picking things back up. Actually, right now we're at the new house uh, over by Terrytown. And we got a chance to get Easy Boy a little room in the new place. And I don't know what we're gonna call it. I definitely wanna build that house up. Uh, we've got the Easy Boy picture on the wall, which is really awesome. And, uh, and so that's kinda where we're at right now. We're at the house and uh, we're gonna pick things back up. Now, what I'd like to do today is maybe continue chipping away at some of the side adventures and side quests. And one of the things that I've wanted to do for a while that has been pending, and I, I don't think we're gonna complete it all in this episode. Maybe we will. Um, but I think there could be potential uh, like lengthy missions involved in this um, is getting to the stables and doing all of those pen missions uh, working for the newspaper because um, by do solving those by doing those we can unlock that sticky armor uh, that they had where you know we wouldn't have to worry about sliding down the walls anymore I love that idea, but we do have to do all of those little side quest missions with Pen, and uh, I'm kind of thinking that might be fun to get into. Now, I think I've unlocked all the stables. I think at this point, I'm not really sure without um, maybe you guys commenting about it. If you guys have seen or remembered how many I've done, maybe if I look at the Zelda's dungeon map, I'll find some, but I think I've done based on my memory from breath of the wild i think i've done all the stables maybe i'm missing one um but i i also think i've talked to pen at most of them so i should have a lot of those side quests listed in the adventure journal and so we're just going to go ahead and kind of cut through some of those and start working on some of those side quests i think that'll be a lot of fun and we'll see where the game takes us you know if we find a shrine on the way we'll do a shrine um, so that'll be good. I hope you guys are excited about this. I know I am. I'm having a blast with this game and I hope you're having fun with this playthrough as well. If you are, do me a favor and click like on this video and also subscribe for more content. Come hang out with us at Discord. The link for that is down below. And if you'd like to dive in a little deeper with me and get early release content so you don't have to wait for these videos to hit YouTube, you can just see them as they're being made on Patreon. And you can also get exclusive games and playthroughs on Patreon as well. Plus, you can hang out with us on Wednesday nights for our exclusive Wednesday night midweek live stream. We have so much fun as a community over there. Uh, then make sure to hop on over to Patreon by going to this link right here. We have so much fun over there at Patreon. And you know what? You can come and make it even more special uh, just by coming and signing up and being a part of that community as well. Uh, special thanks going out to that current Patreon community. Thank you guys so much for your patronage and your monthly support and just being friends over there and your kind comments 
comments and the live streams. We do have a lot of fun and, and I, it just keeps getting better and better over there. Wednesday nights, we keep getting more people watching and hanging out uh, and I'm, I just love it. I love I love the time we get to spend together. If you're out there and you would like to support this channel, if, 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 if this channel holds a certain place of value for you and you enjoy the community here and you wanna support the channel to be able to help it keep going and do more things, uh, then make sure to hop on over to Patreon and get signed up today. All right, guys, without further ado, let's dive back into the world of Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, we are diving into the world of Tears of the Kingdom. We're going to pick it up here. We had our eyes to the sky, looking up, trying to find, see if she's out there, guys. You know who. One of these days, I'm going to do that shrine, but... Look at the house. The house is coming along. There's Easy Boy over there. I'm going to let him hang out for a little while because I'm going to maybe do some fast traveling. Now, we are going to some stables, so we can certainly get Easy Boy to uh, come with us uh, easy enough. See what I did there? Easy enough. Um... That's the one that we keep talking about, isn't it? This one. The Hunt. I keep thinking that this is the shrine that you guys keep saying would be an easy one for me to do. This Proving Grounds. I'm squirreling already. I said I was going to stick with the stable missions. All right. Let me not get distracted. Let's see if I can find them. Let's look for, okay, here we go, pen. So we have the Riverside Stable. Uh, the Cook Goddard is worried about some regular guests who are overdue to arrive at the stable. He apparently had an appointment with them when they were going to share a recipe they had learned from Princess Zelda. Let's just start at the top of here. The top of these, that's the first one of the pen. We have that one, that one. Okay, we've got a few to work through, but not as many as I thought. If every stable has one, there's Zelda's Golden Horse mission. That was the one I was right. I, I said it, I in the last episode, I, I looked at the picture she has of that golden horse in her house, in our house, and, uh, and I said, I think that horse is up at this stable in, uh, in the north, uh, in Hebra. So I was right about that. The all clucking cuckoo. Okay. Dueling peaks. Okay. Eerie voice. So let's start with that and see where that takes us. Um, gourmet's gone missing. Here we go. Uh, let's fast travel actually to where that mission is highlighted. There we go. All right, here we go, guys. We're gonna work on our first pen mission of the day. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. I appreciate your time. I know, you know, like I, I've said this before, but you know, we all lead really busy lives. Um, people have responsibilities to their jobs, to schools, friends, family, uh, busy lives and hobbies, you know, even things that you might wanna do. And I just really appreciate the fact that you take time and spend it with me, just hanging out with me here. Watch me play a game. And also, for those of you who interact with it as well, it's so appreciated. Hey, Pen, let's talk. Hmm. So the gourmets didn't send word that they weren't coming. Okay. Hmm, my keen reporter instincts say something is wrong here. Goddard has been over there waiting for the guests to arrive. He's barely moved this whole time. Which means it's more likely that something or someone is keeping them from getting here. And they have a recipe that Princess Zelda taught them. Related? Maybe, maybe not. As I always say, starting now, leave no chirps unchecked, no warbles unweighed. I'm saying we should look into this. Hey, what do you guys think Zelda's eating these days? Like, that would be really interesting. I mean, we don't see these dragons eat anything. 
Like, what's Zelda eating? Is Zelda just occasionally, like, fly down to eat a cow or something like that? Like, what does she do? Okay, we got a new well. You know, let's not leave too many things unturned here. Wait, who's this guy? Sorelia, I'll protect you. Something, something woods. Legendary sword. <laughs> that scared me. I got this angle with the bush and I was like, ah! I just saw red spikes coming at me. I think I've done this maybe already. But, uh, we got some bright bloom seeds anyway out of it. Okay. <laughs> Had to go check it out, right? Oh, hey, there's a cuckoos. There's a cuckoos. All right, no sign of them. Something isn't right. Agus and the rest would have to cross that bridge to get here, but what's going on? Oh, I didn't notice you there. Are you a customer? If you're looking for stable services, head over to the counter. I'm waiting here to greet some guests we were expecting. But it's well past when they said they'd be arriving. I'm extremely worried. Oh. Uh, they've always crossed Olin Bridge, or Owlin Bridge, in the past when they were coming here. I figured if I kept an eye on the bridge, I'd catch sight of them eventually. It's like watching water boil. The guests are all gourmets. Uh, their leader, a chef named Agus, has taught me a lot about cooking. Aww. They were all excited to visit, and I was looking forward to it. They have a recipe from Zelda to share. Hmm. If Agus and the others have tents, then maybe they're taking the trip nice and slow, camping along the way. Still, they haven't shown up yet. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay. Let's go up to the bridge. They usually take... Hold up. That's not our girl, right? No. It's not. Man, I love those dragons. Okay, what's your deal? Where you go? All the way over there? Well, you know what? Lucky for you, I have to cross this bridge anyway. I bet you're tired. <laughs> now let's see. Oh, look at that, there's Addison, trying to hold a sign. Hang on, Addison, we'll be right there. Might as well just get this poor guy to his house. Hey, I wanna try something. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna use a dazzle fruit, but he came running at me really quick. You guys have been telling me that the dazzle fruits can do quite a job on these uh, the goblins. Come on. Just carry you over. Get you there. I noticed that uh, it didn't look like Addison had any uh, any supplies around him to be able to use.
Here we go. Uh, where are we going? Here. Okay. Well, this will be a couple Korok seeds. I know there was probably, I could have just built something, but eh, take the scenic route. Just uh, drop them in. Hey, it's your friend. Oh, hey, I'll drop you off here. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Okay, we're going back. Thank you. Back to the bridge. You can see it from here. Okay, there's the bridge. And uh, you can see the stable. Now we're looking to find the gourmets. Surprised none of these trees are coming alive. Do you think Addison's seen them? Also, Addison. What's the deal, buddy? You need some help, don't you? Hey, what's that over there? Oh, that was something. Okay. I saw a highlighted. Okay. It's gonna roll. No, it's not. Okay. Thanks for the help. Is this gonna work? I hope. Mm -hmm. Let's see. <laughs> oh, it didn't work. It fell backwards. <laughs> okay, try again. I actually think I just need something behind him. <laughs> Well, let's see if that helps. Uh, oh, this is a tough one because they don't have the normal boards. This is the first one where I haven't had normal boards. Um, Okay. All right, let's try just doing this. Mm. 
we'll just do it the way we normally would do it, I guess. So it doesn't go that way. And I need another tree. Thank you. Um, okay. Now it still could fall backwards, so we're gonna need one more tree. I'll do the trick. Got a big cat toy this time. Okay. Gotta do it, right? Like, just enough, anyway. No! It's even worse! <laughs> wow! I'm gonna spend all episode just on this thing. I wasn't expecting this. Alright. How? Okay, let's try this. All right, that's not gonna work, because physics. So now we have to stack them the other way. Nope. Come on now. Dang it. I ain't gonna lie, guys. I'm kind of tempted to not do it just because it's not important to me, but I'm only doing it because I know there are several people in the community that are gonna have a conniption fit if I don't. Um. I didn't, what the heck, I didn't even press the button. Um. I don't know. I just don't know. But this tree annoys me. There we go. Um. So, like, is it gonna take a ton of trees? It'd be so much easier to just have regular. Regular wood. Like, not. I know trees are wood. I, what I mean by that is, uh. <laughs> Do this to make sure it doesn't fall sideways. <laughs> nope, that didn't work because it's not going to provide <laughs> support. Again, that's not gonna do it. I don't know if this is actually what I'm supposed to do. 
No, because now it's gonna. I don't know. I give up. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I don't care for these missions. Um, but let's see. Like, there's so many more important things to do than help this weirdo. Um, let's see. I know there's gonna be people who feel rather triggered that I called him a weirdo. Um, he's not a weirdo, he just, okay, let's be honest, he's a weirdo. Like, he's, a, he, the guy is, is, keeps falling, putting himself in the same position like 500 times in Hyrule where he's just, I'm gonna support you, sir, and he thinks that's actually like a person and that it's like sacrilege if he drops the sign and you, you think by now, if he actually works for a construction company, he'd be somewhat good at doing this stuff. Like, he would figure out how to post a sign, but he, he can't. Which tells me that Hudson probably doesn't want him anywhere where around and just says, hey, kid, go die out there in the wilderness hanging up signs. Like, if I was this kid, I'd be quitting this company and going and seeing what Bolson's doing down in Laurel. And... <laughs> Um, I don't know what to do. I'm, and like, am I gonna have to basically like just chop down the whole forest and just build a log cabin around this thing? Let's see. More than like. That was stupid. Okay. It also makes it the level very difficult because, or this uh, particular sign very difficult because we don't have like level ground that we're working with here. All right, let's try this. Um. <laughs> So let's attach these like that. Now that's gonna tip over maybe, no, okay. Great, now, let's take that and put that in here. Certainly, this should keep it from falling forward or sideways. So now what we need to do is we need to keep it Um, from falling back. And I think a way to do that is to make a crisscross. Don't break. This has got to do it, guys. This has got to do it. Let's see. Okay, there we go. We did it. Okay. <sighs> I did it. All right, now let's go back and back to the original mission here where we get we're trying to find the the gourmets, I believe they were called. By the way, Addison, have you happened to see anybody come through here? 20 red rupees. He should be paying me more money at this point. Actually, at this point, the bomb flower is better than uh, the sleepover ticket. Now we're blocking the road. And I want a single-handed weapon, let's see. Do that. Saving the Master Sword for right now. I should have brought Easy with me. There's the camp. Go 
check it out. Hey guys. I think animal meat, right? Maybe. Or now this is not midnight. It's noon, so these guys should be up. Who who suggested? Who said monster meat? Ugh. Aww. Ooh, help, please. Princess Zell, her recipe as written. Don't or don't improvise. What in the world? Examine. Princess Zelda's meat and rice bowl. Combine plain raw meat, Hylian rice, and rock salt. This flavorful, comforting dish is sure to fill you with energy, but be sure to follow the recipe to that letter. No. Okay, it was... Raw meat, rice, and rock salt. Um, I, I don't know if this is what we want to do, um, is make it, but raw meat, rice, and rock salt. Cooking up some Zelda food. <laughs> Meat and rice bowl. Aww. Oh, please. Princess of her recipe. Don't, don't improvise. Aww. Huh? Th that smell. Aww. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Can I have that meat and rice bowl? Please, please. I need to eat it. This, I recognize this flavor. <laughs> this is the recipe Zelda shared with us. Jute, or jute, uh, telly, and die. Hurry up and take a bite of this. Hey, guys. <laughs> oh, thank you for helping us. We were not doing well at all. Zelda taught us how to cook the dish quite some time ago. We ran into her once during our travels. She was full of kindness for us, despite our group being a little ragged on the road. Aww. But I do remember now that she said we needed to follow the recipe exactly. <laughs> Ugh. Whose bright idea was it to substitute monster parts in place of real meat? Uh. That was me. I'm sorry. I was just curious about uh, what it would taste like. I thought maybe her recipe would work. Well, with monster parts. Ah. The road to gourmet greatness is littered with stuff you wouldn't think is tasty. Gotta expand your palate. Uh. Now, now's not the time to sit and figure out best practices for future dietary exploits. We've got to get to the Riverside Stable. We're so late, I'm sure Goddard has been worrying about us. Ah. We really are grateful for your help. Let me say again on behalf of everyone, thank you. You don't even know us, but you... You used valuable ingredients to save us from ourselves. Here, please take this. Oh, we got a rice to replace it. Mm. And this. Oh, we got our rock salt back to replace mm. And I bet there's a meat. Oh, it's raw gourmet meat. <laughs> we like cooking with the very best raw meat when we have it. You can use all of that to cook yourself a meat and rice bowl sometime. Anyway, we'd better get ready and head to Riverside Stable since we plan to be there well before now. Uh. I have to get going. Hopefully, we'll run into each other in the future. Okay. Well, if it isn't my partner. There we go. Oh. Any luck finding those missing travelers yet? I just started to scout for them from the sky when I saw you down here. You chase down any leads at all? <laughs> what? They were right here, too queasy to even move, and you helped them get back on their feet again? 
Interesting. So the chirps and warbles were really onto something. I'm impressed that Zelda's vast knowledge includes things I wouldn't expect, like recipes for dishes. Mm. We've worked together to chase three of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Okay, so we did do, uh, we did do other ah. ones. You know, I don't think anyone would take you for a rookie with how hard you're working these investigations. <clears throat> I'm sure Tracy appreciates your efforts. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Oh, oh whoops. I almost forgot, partner. Tracy has been really impressed with you uh, and asked me to give you a bonus. Here you go. Okay. A recipe from Zelda, perfect for getting folks into fighting shape. Ah, the article almost writes itself. Almost. I have this, like, cute little idea of, like, oops, I bumped my mic. This cute little idea of back in the Tino before all these events happened, you know, Link and Zelda are outside. It's a beautiful summer night, and they're sitting out there by their cooking bowl, just having a little campfire out there, just cooking together, you know? So much fun. So much fun. All right. Bye. So long. Well, now let's uh, move to the next one. Let's see. Pen. There we go. Wait, with Tracy. Oh, okay. We're still working on it. Pen's research at Snowfield Stable turned up a story about Princess Zelda's golden horse, which has a mane braided with honeycomb plates. It was being kept there, but ran off somewhere to the north. Harlow can't go look for the horse, given that as a huge... Okay, that's where we're going. Uh, but we're going to need to change, because that is some snowy area right there. So we are getting back in that. Probably going to need both. Okay. The island lobster shirt. That's great. That matches what we're wearing, too. Okay. Here we go. Right now, Easy Boy is nice and warm. Instead of being cold, he's sitting there eating his never-ending, you know, bundle of hay. Hanging out the new house, happy as a clam. And that's okay. Right. How could that have happened? It's so troubling. Hmm. Let's review the facts. The horse at the heart of all of this should be fond of Princess Zelda, right? Yet the animal bolted as if scared of her. Very strange. Hmm. Well, we know. Horses know. Like, if I wasn't really me, Easy Boy would know. That horse trusted Zelda like no one else. Why did it run away as if it was scared of her? I can't just wrap my head around it. Was it the princess? Hmm. Well, if I had to be certain, honestly, I'm not totally sure. The snow was coming down hard when it happened. But even so, I'd swear it was her face. I'd know Zelda anywhere, even in a blizzard. <sighs> you haven't heard? There's a huge monster with three heads. Oh no, that is the uh, a Gleok, which we have not fought. I fought King Gleok up in the sky, but I haven't fought another one, one of the lesser ones. They say it breeds out dangerous plumes of frost. I doubt I'd come out alive if I met a terror like that. Am I going to have to fight one to do this? Maybe you could survive by hiding from view as soon as you got close. Yeah, we can do that. Ah. It's a beautiful golden coat. Then there's its mane of honeycomb plates. The princess braided herself. There's no other horse out there like uh, out, out there that looks like it. I might make another stable. Over here. The horse bolted off fast, but I do know it. I might make another stable at the house so Zelda's horse can be there too. I'd go off in search of that horse, unless I have to bring it back here. But I'm pr I would 
almost be willing to bet that um, if you get this horse, you can keep it. It's Zelda's horse, you know? If it weren't for the huge monster flying around. I'm terribly worried. I hope that poor creature is okay. I really should go out and search for the poor horse. But what if I run into that monster? Besides, for all I know, that steed will get agitated and start acting wild as soon as it sees me. Then again, I could always use energizing el elixir. Okay. Hey, now there's an idea. I could share some of that with you. Restores your stamina. Okay, but to catch a wild horse, we'll be okay. I want to know how to make that and just do a restless cricket. Thanks. Aww. Told you, you can get similar effects. Okay, I, let's do it. There's the monster. Isn't there a sky tower here? There's the great fairy. Like, I'm just wondering. Oh, I gotta be careful. I remember every time we come up here, there's these riders. I was wondering if I could hit the sky tower. Why are we, who are we fighting? I know I'm squirreling again, but um, I want to get some height and look for the horse up here by the ferry, and then I want to see if this ferry can help me with any of the new armor I've got. That'd be cool. Remember that horse used to be in the stable. Because I remember seeing a gold horse there at one point. You know, it's too bad I could have uh, taken, if I'd known, I could have taken a picture of that one and probably stuck it in the compendium and then. Oh, see that, yeah, this is what I need to do. Horse? Is the horse close to the monster? Is that what the issue is here? I don't know. All right. Can you do anything for me? Let's see. Oh, man! And you've come here again. Okay, let me see your clothes. I can answer. Okay! Wait, ooh! To the maximum? Well, what can you do to the maximum? Glide tights. Okay. If she can do those to the maximum, I wonder if that means that um, we could, uh, like that'll be better, because they're better looking, and maybe that'll be better than the bul bulbous pants we wear. Ooh. Ooh. What? Mm. Yeah, okay. Huh. A 
have that. Those glide tights are gonna get maxed out. How awesome is that? I wonder how much they can, they'll be in comparison to what we're wearing. It's just up to six. It's not that great. With clothing of the same type. Oh. Yeah. Wait, that's all? Oh, okay. All right, let's see if we can find this horse. What is going on? There's a guy down there, he needs our help. Tulin, thank you. Benny, you're a wanderer, you a wanderer too? I hear a lot of my travels. Is there some mystery I can help you get to the bottom of? Say, are you aware of the mystery of the geoglyphs that have sprung? You know, I'm very aware of the geoglyphs. Uh. I'm an adventurer looking into those geoglyphs, even if I haven't made much progress yet. I came here because I heard that people have seen a geoglyph in the area. Mm. Dude, it's... I can't miss it. It's right over there. But I've walked up and down these hills and not found any trace of it. No use complaining, though. I'll rest a bit and pick up the search again. Maybe I'll see you again while I'm at it. Stay safe. By the way, you haven't happened to see a gold horse anywhere, have you? Old horse? I have a really bad feeling. Whoa, what are you doing out here? Mm. Juga. Listen, I'm supposed to be investigating ruins and sky islands around here, but I can't go near North Lame Labyrinth because of all the gloom. And I can't get near the Typhlo ruins because of weird automa <sighs> automatons. Automatons. Auto, yep. I really can't investigate anything. It's demoralizing. Talking about it does make me feel a little better, though. Thanks for listening. Well, there you go. There's your couch sec uh, session. That'll be uh, $175. What do you think, Korok? Yeah. Oh. We got a horse. Wait. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Are you kidding me? Addison, of all things. I'm out here looking for Zelda's lost horse, and you're standing out here in 50 below zero. I'm going moose hunting. Oh, I was. Hey, you know, I'm going to need... Uh, Watch the moose. Hold up, Addison. Don't you worry, we'll take care of it. Seriously, buddy. You know, that one might actually be too big. Whoa.
Really? It's frozen meat now. Oh, not yet. Am I gonna have to fight? See, I feel like there's a reason why she brought up that Gleok. I think the horse is probably over there, closer to the Gleok. Uh, hold up. Look at that. Is that? That's all new. We have not seen that one before. Uh, we're gonna go do a shrine in a second here, guys. Okay, that's big enough. You know what? I bet you it, that isn't going to do it. Um, how much you want to bet that's just going to fall over? Ah! Like it's going to fall back. Mm -hmm. Oh! Lovely. Lovely. All right. Well, there we go. We helped Addison now here in the middle of the winter wilderness. Ah! Now, dude, go find a cold climate. What are you doing wearing like that outfit out here? I have to sit here. I, I, I would be dead. I would be. All my health would be gone. <laughs> okay, you need to go with that worrisome look on your face and get out of here. Ah! All right, come on, Addison. Oh, a muddle ah. bud. I'll take that. He's giving me better stuff, though, now. Well, guys, I think we need to go do that shrine, but I'd be pretty shocked if um, we actually... I, I bet you it's closer to where that Gleok is. But you know what? There's a shrine there. Hi, white fox. Snow fox. There's some enemies. What kind of enemies we got? This area at all oh that's over okay so I thought we went over here before because remember I couldn't get into this labyrinth this is where we had a shrine before but I never saw that there did I am I just forgetting is that a core rock no is there a gold horse out here You know what we're gonna do? Do you know? Do you know? We are gonna go check this out over here for a second. Go up to the top and glide over to that shrine. Sure feels like there should be a Korok here though, huh? Like if I kept going up to it. Oh, wow. 
There used to be several shrines in this area. Come on, you know there's got to be a Korok up here. All this work. Say what? There's more. Wait, what is that? That didn't work. Ah, uh, that's a bear. But that bear is not gonna bother us. Cause it's like, there's a bunch of people jumping up with their bones. I'm out of here. Okay, we're big time squirreling, but come on. There's gotta be something around here, right? Let's go to the very top and see what we see. Maybe like a North Pole Korok or something. A little hard to see uh, with no daylight, but still pretty cool. Alright, let's go check out the shrine. Wonder what kind of shrine this is gonna be. No golden horses here. All right. Here we have a nice little view. Maybe when we come out, if we hit this at daylight, I bet it's way easier to find that horse. Been drinking coffee all day. I, I just uh, earlier this afternoon. It's nighttime for me now. Earlier this afternoon, I recorded the previous episode. All right, we got ourselves a puzzle, and uh, so I, I recorded a, the previous episode, Mallet Smash. It sounds like it's gonna be fun. And uh, oh, okay. Fun. Um, maybe. Like that. Oh, wait, let's take a look first. It just goes up and back. Okay. It's not there. Okay. Kind of looks like we just go.
Well, it's sloppy, but it'll do. You know what? That was dumb. That was, I don't know what, I was thinking of a, something that had nothing to do with this. Okay. There we go. All right, go be free. There we go. Now I had a thought, what was that thought? I just lost my thought. talking about now I can't remember it okay we'll take that all right I mean I kind of think it's gonna go There we go. Nice. I haven't done a shrine in a while. Boy, I really lost my train of thought a second ago. I started talking about something and I can't remember what I was talking about. I guess it wasn't that important. Before I came into this shrine, I was talking about how maybe looking for Zelda's horse, Goldie, <laughs> would look or would be easier in the daytime. Then I started saying something else, and I realized, oh, hey, it's going to be a puzzle shrine. Yay. Then I started moving. I don't remember what it was about. Totally lost forever until I go back and watch this. Okay. You guys ever do that? Like walk into a room and go, why would, why did I bother? Or start to a sentence and get distracted and then three seconds later you're like, wait, where am I, what am I talking about? Well, it gets worse the older you get, let me just tell you. Okay, we've got a shrine. So we did a shrine. We've done one pen mission, and now we have to go get, look, it's daytime. It is 7 a.m. It is per, I just saw the horse. I just saw it. Did you see it? Did you see it? I saw it. Wait, maybe it wasn't. No, shoot, it wasn't the horse. It was those stupid flying things.
That's what it was. Korok? No. I thought I saw the horse running, but it, it, I think I'm pretty sure now it was just one of those. Problem is, we gotta find Goldie. Where's Goldie? Gotta get Goldie out of here. There's wolves and a Gleok. Now, if we have to fight that Gleok, now's a good time to save this. I have to wear my not upgraded. Is there anything here? That... I know this area had some fallen ones. Oh, would you look at that? I can get the high ground. Can I? I'm sure it can fly up, but I wonder if there's any way of getting that Gleok from above. Let's look for the horse. So hard to see because it's so snowy. Now I do know it's it's gotta be pop. I think I see it. Nope, that was just there. It was like this highlight in that rock that looked like a horse might be down there. Also. For all I know, the horse is just one of those like graphical pop-ups. Nope, wait. Oh, that's really cool. I forgot you guys mentioned that when you do that, when you're falling, your stamina doesn't run out. So that's a neat way Kind of look around and get your surroundings. Something else falling from the sky. Where is the horse? Anyway, what I was starting to say was she said, the girl said that you can do it while sneak. She's like, maybe if you can sneak. And that tells me that that's a possibility. Did I just do all that floating to grow like 10 feet past the wolves that we just walked by? And then besides that, you gotta think, not only is it a matter of finding the horse, Finding Goldie, but she said Goldie may be a little wild now. And it's gonna take some stamina to train her, or to calm her down. Shoot. Oh shoot, we are close. Ugh. Probably the only thing helping us right now is the fact that We are, uh... The only thing helping us right now is that maybe we're in a hard to see area. But is Goldie just like some graphics pop up that we're not gonna see till we get over there? Save Goldie. 
Zelda loved that horse. We need to save Goldie. Of course, Zelda also loved Leia, and Leia's, we got Leia too. You know what would be awesome? Is uh, to actually go back to the house and build a whole bunch of those stables lined up next to each other so we can just have all of our horses there. Where is Goldie? When you fight a Gleok, does the Gleok come back with the Blood Moon? Or is that something like, there's so many Gleoks and if you fight them all, like they don't come back, so that's like a, a big thing, like you, you just have to try to go through them all. Definitely closer than I feel comfortable. Let's find out. Let's use our camera and see. It's a frost gleok. So it's not a king gleok, at least. Goldie. Wait. Goldie. Come on, Goldie. Where are you? Oh, I hate to do it, but I think I think I need to get in closer to the Gleok. I need an invisible, I need invisible clothes. I think it's gonna come flying back around. Okay. Safe distance. Goldie, where did you go? I mean, Goldie could be anywhere here, right? Oh, there's those people we met. The guy with the donkey. Might need that Lionel bow if I fight that thing. For sure. The uh, Gleok, I mean. All right. Dang it. I didn't want to have to do this, guys. Isn't there something that fell? I think a Gleok is kind of above my pay grade right now. Especially if it's flying around me and I have to try to shoot it. I wonder if I shoot some fire things at it though, if that will do more damage. Making a lot of noise.
Oh my gosh! No, 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 no. You know what? We're gonna have to embrace this. I don't stand a chance. Guys, I don't stand a chance right now. Holy crap. I need a weapon. Okay, run. Oh my word. Guys, I'm not ready for this. Look how much that thing's taken out of me. I wasn't ever, I was honestly going to see if I could avoid the Gleox completely in my playthrough. Is he gonna, if he stays there, that might actually be beneficial. Peekaboo. He's on the move. Ah. I, 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 my problem is these kinds of fights make me so incredibly nervous. I hate the fact that he's way up there. Gosh. I can't beat that. I can't beat that, guys. I can't do it. I don't know even know where to start. I know a lot of you guys have given advice on how to do it, but that also requires skill, and I don't have the skill to do that. Um. Look at this. I'm. I'm. I don't have. I. It's gonna take every bit of um stuff I have. Oh man, I can't see anything. Dang it! Come on. It takes too long for the bow to charge up with those things. I need something hard hitting. Oh, and you can't touch that up. That's too hard, too hard. Come on guys, we gotta work together, work together. Oh no. No, 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 no. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Go, 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 go. Oh, I can't run. <sighs> I 
Did I do it? Oh, I hate that it does that. You can't even touch. It's going to take every single... Everything I've got, guys. No! It's too hard to hit it! Oh, okay. What else do I got that's major? This. We're in it. We're still in it. We haven't. We still have one of these. Hearts racing on this one. <sighs> Guys, a Gleok. Could I do it? I got, I'm starting to get change my mind a little bit. I think we got its health down to under half. And if we can kill this one, it's sure gonna make trying to find Goldie a lot easier. Very thankful for this Lionel bow. Peekaboo! Nope. Okay. I wonder if I found an exploit here. Try to get through. Nope. Oh, things are in my way, I can't see. Make this one count, guys. Spin, spin, spin. That's not gonna hit. That was a bad idea. Where's that thing going? Oh, that's not nice. Wait. Oh my gosh, and there's a blood moon. Guys. There's a blood moon and there's a dragon. Wait, is that? <gasps> it's her! Zelda, help! Zelda, we need you! Oh gosh! Oh, we really need you! <sighs> Just find something that fills it in a little bit. Guys, what are we gonna do? Get that stupid! How am I supposed to get through? When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land, the aimless this won't restore his health with it, will it? Flesh, uh, kind of bad timing right now.
Oh, you know what? Hold up. Um. I got an idea. Go this way. Go under. Is he not shooting things at me now? I don't know how to get up there. But we sure could use you right now, Zelda. How do I do that? Guys. Do I just wait? How do I do that? I wonder. Okay. Is he coming back? If he comes back, we have a better chance. not good. How do I do this? Okay, there's something over there. There's something over there. Uh, I, I don't I don't know how to do this. Like, I, I, this might be. Okay, so here's my thought process. I think I need to look it up. And here's the reason why. I, it's too, too difficult for me to get us, like, how do I put this? I don't want to just try to figure it out trial and error and then just die and have to start this whole thing over again. If I do that, I'm walking away. I'm not doing it. So I've got him this low. I've got him on the ropes. But now I need to figure out what what do you do at this point? Like, do I need to run over? And and a, and maybe that's the thing is now I need to run over to uh, one of those falling rocks and elevate myself up. I. I don't, if I get too far, I hope it doesn't reset his health. I don't think that happens in this game, but. Because I don't know how the heck I'm supposed to do anything like this. This is insane. Like how, see. Is he getting closer? It is, it does kind of look like he's getting closer. Well, maybe not. No, I don't think he is. Well, maybe. Do I use recall on any of those things that are falling? I don't think so. It looks like they want to fall. They're not hitting me, though. Oh. Did that work? No. It's hard. He's moving. I don't know. Man, and I thought... Guys, I don't know. If I shoot an arrow up there with like a keys eye, will that take it all the way? No. I'll do it. I'll try again. 
Wait. Gotta be holy. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that would be hilarious. It actually hit one. That was a good shot. But if he falls, I'm never gonna make it over there. He's too far away. That's hilarious that that hit him though. No, it went over his head. Nope. That went over his head again. <gasps> oh, okay. Thank goodness for this, uh, this Lionel bow. Oh, that, that hit him. This is probably not the way you're supposed to do it. Oh, shoot. My word. Yes, 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 yes. Go. Guys, yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> oh, goodness, can you imagine if I had looked over and it wasn't recording? Oh, I did it. I did it. I beat a Gleok. I beat a frosty old Gleok. Oh. oh, that was tense. That was so tense. But we did it. We beat a Gleok. Let's go get Gleok parts. I'm sure that was a sloppy way to do it. But that was awesome that we were able to use that line. Look at that Gleok wing. Aerodynamic wing segment from a Gleok is thin and light, but extremely sturdy. Arrows and thrown weapons fly farther. The frost horn. That's going to be awesome. Um, attached to a weapon that vastly increased attack power. I bet that's going to be awesome. And it's going to be so fun. to. I'm going to attach it to the master sword, I think. Save that. Now. Wow. Guys, I beat my first Gleok. Yes! Oh my gosh. I beat my first Gleok. Let's go find our horse. Let's go find Zelda's horse. Goldie, it's safe to come out now. Huh. I can't believe it. Wow. You know what? I'm going to. 
It, it's been so cool. That was so much at once because it was almost like here I am fighting the enemy that I've been dreading the most. And then it was like two things that happened at once. And I know neither one of them really affected the Gleok. But to me, there was something about looking up. Link's fighting for his life, right? Against this enemy that I've been avoiding. And I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting. And it looks like I'm in over my head. And then in the most despair, just adds insult to injury, I look up and a blood moon's coming up. But in the midst of the blood moon, who do you see off in the distance still watching over Link? She's there. I've been wondering, guys, Zelda was there flying over. That was Zelda. And it's like, even then, it was almost like she was flying over. And in my mind, in my pretend, in my imagination for my playthrough, it was like Zelda looking down and saying, you got this, Link. <sighs> yes, that was awesome. Would have been great if she had come down and ate him. But still, that I'll go with it. I'll go with it. Where's where's our horse? I, I can't believe I did it. And it's 7.15 a.m. Means we're gonna get a little bit of daylight. And we gotta find, we gotta find her. Where's Goldie? Goldie. Goldie. You know what's interesting? She's not even anywhere around where this Gleok was. I don't think. Where could she be? That was beautiful. The more I think about it, the more I'm just gonna I'm going to go with that for my own little narrative for my playthrough in the, you know, when it all seemed hopeless, I looked up and she was still there. I've been looking for her. I'm always looking for her, but she was still there keeping an eye on Link. It was almost like this little, little glimmer of hope that she was giving and, and like, I've got you. I'm watching. Here I am. And that's gonna be our narrative on this one, guys, for this playthrough. That was so cool. All right, we, where in the world? Where in the world is Goldie? You know, the only way to do this is, hey, I just be a Gleok. You sure you wanna do that? Served us well. Oh. Hey, we still have another one, but I'm going to save that for something we really need it for. Let's use the zone knight. Um, okay, let's go get easy boy. Because that's that would be a little bit easier traversing around here. Cause I'm having the hardest time finding Goldie. Actually, you know what? 
Hi. Let's see who we got. Um. Oh. Easy boys, like totally maxed out here. But I haven't used Leia yet. Easy boys, nice. Yeah, but Easy boys, the one who's all. Four three four three. Four four five four. But you know what? We're gonna take Le we have not taken Leia out. Leia is like a sister to Goldie. Oh This was Zelda's oh. horse. For your sister, mm. Leia. Huh. Let's go. We stop that big bad Gleok out here. She's was she even anywhere close to the Gleok at all? There she is. It's all right. It's okay. There she is. Goldie. You know what? I didn't have to fight a Gleok for this. But it was worth it, wasn't it? Especially for that cinematic storytelling moment. Again, Link looks up and there's the love of his life as a dragon still looking down on him. Being the shining hope in a very dark time with a blood moon even. She was like, I got you. Knowing that he was still making an effort to get her horse. Because it's her horse. Alright, Leia, you stay behind. Because... It's going to take a little bit of strategy... Goldie hasn't been feeling very good, so... And she got spooked because someone else is... ...pretending to be mommy. Alright, hang on. This is gonna be a slow crawl, guys. Okay, you know, Bo, don't mess this up for me. I know you're ghosts, but you're still clumsy. Oh, shoot. There she is. Hey. Come on, Goldie. It's 
me. It's Link. It's Daddy. Right? Good girl, there you go. Stay away from her, you novo. Don't stress her out. Don't It's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, you're good, you're good, alright, you're good, I got you, look, look who's here, it's Leia, good girl, see, I got you, I got you, I'm gonna bring you home, alright, Look, look at him, see? <laughs> I don't know why this does not matter. We're just making a story at this point, guys. <laughs> the game is not like, oh, look, there's... <laughs> there it is. See? Nice, nice. Okay, I guess I don't need to keep doing that, but... Let's, uh... Good girl, good girl. Yep. All right, Leia's gonna come with us, I think. You know what? Hang on, I have something for you. Here. Good, good, good. That's right. All right, come on, Leia, don't just stay out here. you do, we'll call you back. Huh. Alright, well, good girl. I'll be back in a little bit. We'll call you in. Hi there, Fox. Hi, Snow Fox. Hi, Mr. Moose. Hey, you know what? Goldie, we're gonna hook you up with some upgrades. And then we're gonna get you a nice stall at the new house. And you know what? About once a day, mommy flies over. Don't ask. It's a long story. You know what else? We beat a Gleok. Wow, that was something else. Look who's finally back home. No doubt about it. That is Princess Zelda's steed for certain. I've been worried sick, but now you've found it. Huh? When did you? Oh, never mind. So, partner, when you show up and save the day in the middle of my reporting work here, well, it kind of throws me off my saddle. You know what I'm saying? Oh, just giving you a hard time. Besides, those good deeds of yours just feather my reputation. You make me proud. But, huh, is it just me, or has that misplaced pony there gotten kind of attached to you? Ah. I know this horse well, and I do believe you're right. Really, you'd be doing me a favor if you kept this gentle creature. Princess Zelda asked me to find someone who'd take care of it. <laughs> and in your travels around Hyrule, perhaps you'll even have a chance to reunite this horse with the princess. <laughs> that's the plan. If that's the case, partner, then how could you say no to keeping it? Do it as a favor for the horse, at least. Wait, I want you to have this too. 
That's amazing. That's going to go on Leia as well. Royal Bridal. This bridal is well known for being a favorite of the Hyrulean royal family. Its gold uh, ornamentations leave an impression, but its true value lies in its solid craftsmanship. Uh, also, please take this. The, yep, the saddle. Uh, there are These are a bridle and a saddle left behind by Princess Zelda. The little one's accustomed to those, uh, so feel free to use them. Uh, you might still be a rookie, but you're every bit as good as a reporter as I thought you'd be. Thanks to you, I'll have the full story when I write my article. We worked together to chase four of the stories relating to Zelda. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. And just one other thing. Tracy sent along a bonus. Oh my gosh, it just keeps getting better. This is what we've been trying to get. A good sleeve for a rainy day. Small dimples on the fingers act as suction cups. Ah. It's pretty rare gear that makes it easier to keep your grip on walls even on rainy days. It's not a pair of wings, but I'm sure it'll still help you reach new heights. <laughs> yes! All right, I'm off to the office to write up this whole piece. This is great. This is great. Take care, partner. Let's work together again soon. So long. Woo! We got Goldie. We got that royal. Oh, everything is giving me the feels because it's. Hi, pups. Aww. Gah. Oh. Oh, that's Zelda's golden horse. We're well acquainted already. You mean to register it? Yeah. Huh? Understood. Your horse will be in good hands. You sure you want? Yes. Oh. She's got a lot of good stats. Feed. Yep. Oh. Huh? Since you're registering a new horse, we'll add one point. Oh. Got my reward. If you want to get your reward, step up to the side counter. Yep. Goldie. There we go. Are you sure? Yeah, Goldie. Oh. Name registered. Uh, let's board it. Huh? Hmm. Time was you looked at the sky in the day. Oh, you know, actually, huh. I want to put. I do want to get her back again. Oh. Uh, take horse. Yep. Oh. Oh, actually, ah, beastie boy. There we go. Um, let's take Leia and bring Leia back. Oh, so she's not out there in the wild, in the cold. Huh? Oh, Leia, you deserve to be wearing the royal as well. I think that's what she used to wear, actually, right? Oh. When we first got Leia, wasn't she wearing that? Oh. In the other game? Mm. Yeah. Huh? Oh. Looks good. Oh. 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 <laughs> Huh? Oh. Oh. There we go. I just wanted to get her in her stuff, and I'm going to put Goldie in her stuff, oh. too. Oh. 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 All right, Goldie.
put her in her stuff. Uh, oh. Um. There you go. Right where oh. you belong. Oh. Hmm. Now I'm keeping oh. Easy Boy in the night oh. stuff. Oh. Cause he's he's a knight, you know? A brave oh. soldier. Oh. A faithful brave soldier. Oh. Look at that. Yellow or gold and purple. It's like a It's like Zelda's horse was a LA Laker. Oh. Uh, yeah, board this horse. Thank you. Oh. 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 We did it. Now, real quickly. I want to have some fun. We're gonna find out if you can get more than one of something when building a house. Cause I want some fun. Those are the three most special horses. Obviously for me, it's easy bo- That's not her. No. It's proving ground. Hey, buddy. Good boy. You don't have your stuff. Where's your stuff? Well, I guess you're just home, so that's all that matters. Probably if I take him out, then he uh, he actually gets all his stuff back on. Hey, you took away my horse. Mm. Uh, yeah, I need two. Ah. Oh. Ah. Come on, tell me I can do another one. Come on. There we go. He's got a buy it. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> ah. No. Ah. Okay. Mm. Cool. Thank you. Wrong one. That's not how they go. <laughs> Trying to get somewhat straight here. All right, cool. Huh. 
together now how's the house looking there okay are you good I'm done for now get my horse now ah. no ah. I gotta go over to it to do that Calling it it. Oh. Uh, shall I put your horse in the paddock? Yeah. Uh, oh, here we go. Leia. Mm. Ah. There you go. So cool. Now, quick break. Um, we need to do some cooking. And look at that, we do have a hearty truffle. for one we use some stuff not sure if we have anything else that would be hearty well we do have some meat Let's see what that does it's big meat skewer but should do quite a bit of hearts Full recovery. I wonder how many of those I had to put in to do that. Probably not that much. Got milk. There. That was crazy, huh, guys? Okay. 
Get dressed for the day. Those glide pants have been upgraded. Cloth sewn to these. A gray fairies increase their defense by two levels to glide more easily as they plummet from the sky. Okay. I'm kind of curious to see how that looks when it's in action. This is still the most upgraded thing. Okay. And the best for combat. There's easy boy. I love this room. This is great. I wish you could hang more pictures on the wall. Pretty cool. Good morning up there. All right. How would I get, okay, through here is how I would ride up. But man, if I take Easy Boy from out from here, it's a long ride to wherever we're going, for sure. But it is nice to have him kept here, I think. <laughs> oh, I love it. So, what's next on the list, guys? I'm looking at the time. All right, let's take a look and see if we can do one more pen. Pen scoured. Okay, this is not too, too far. Um, pen scoured near South Akala Stable for new leads, but couldn't find any. He thought it, 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 it'd possibly be a good idea to ask a cuckoo who speaks prophecy for leads. The bird is on the hill uh, behind the stable under the large tree. Well, you know, this sounds kind of like a cuckoo thing to do. Uh, and it it's quite a distance away. We're not going to get there from going this way. Um, so let's take the shrine. The hunt. How many times do I keep hearing about the hunt? I've been very encouraged in the comments to at least try that one again. I don't remember anything about it. I think it was the hunt is the one that I'm told that is probably one I could get by based on what I know. Um, All right, that looks like it's over here. Let's go talk to a chicken. The chicken, there's literally a waiting line to talk to the chicken. Hi. Hi, Gleema. Welcome to South Akala Stable. Do you like horsies? I used to like bugs when I was little, but now I like horsies the best. I'm practicing so I can be a horsey when I grow up. Nay. Oh. Poor kid. Hey, hey, mister. Did you come to hear the all clucking cuckoos prophecy? Uh, I, I came to ask if I'm gonna be a horsey when I grow up. Since the all clucking cuckoo, actually it's cuckoo, isn't it? It's not cuckoo, cuckoo. It's a chicken. Um, the all clucking chicken is so popular, the wait is super long. Well, I'm cutting the line. My true love. Lonnie, what are you doing? Hmm, should I really ask about that? No, maybe not, but then again, hmm. Are you here for a prophecy from the chicken? Get ready for your life to change. They say the chicken's words always come true. Actually, do you want to take my place in line? I have a lot of questions and I need time to sort out which to ask. Really, you'd be doing me a favor. Go ahead. I am really sorry. 
chicken uh, for hitting your kind, making you a joke, and uh, and using you as a paraglider in the past. Hello, chicken? Thy name, what? It speaks. I, I almost feel like it needs like a reverb voice, like, thy name, what is thy name? Ah, oh, I sense it. You are Link. And you're searching for someone. Ah, yes, Zelda. What? I know all. And what I know is that thou wilt face. You realize someone's hiding behind this tree, right? Or they're up in the tree. Oh my gosh, somebody is up in there. I know that's what it is. And what I know is that thou wilt face trials that will reveal much to you. So, will thou take these trials? Uh, yeah. Oh, am I gonna get stripped down to my underwear? Very well, the first trial is... Get to the top of that stable's head within the time limit. Okay. Walk, run, fly, whatever it takes. Ready yourself. No! I hit the wrong button. Watch, I got an idea, I got an idea. How do I get in, how do I get in? Great. I did it. Cool. Well, it's trial number two. Good job with that trial. I'd say I'm impressed, but I already knew that was going to happen. So, thou, yes, thou, <laughs> thou, yes, thou. Ready to face the next trial? Only if thou overcome it, will thou find what thou seeketh. Apparently we speak in old King James. So, are you going to try it or what? Yeah, sure. Cluck, cluck, very well. The second trial is? Bring three long logs here within the time limit. Lots of trees around here. Any of them will do the job. Just do whatever it takes to get them here. Cluckety, cluck, cluck. hard I think we're gonna do it though okay you finished <laughs> this is funny and silly I mean I beat a Gleok today I gotta be able to pass these trials right so you tired yet or what you've got to be worn out well, it's been entertaining, so naive, so trusting. I can't believe you fell for this. A talking chicken, ridiculous. I told you someone else was gonna be here. Now that you're worn out, you've got, we've got you right where we want you. Oh my gosh, it's Yiga. You gotta be kidding me. He knew it was too good to be true. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
<laughs> it's no use, Link. I won't let you escape. We backed up too much. Okay, someone's going to get in trouble here. Next. Boy, they really uh, come from all sides. Oh, man. You can't stop that. There's no way to block that for sure. I knew there was something more to it. There's no such thing as a talking chicken. Well, or we'll let you off easy for now, but don't get used to it. We won't hold back next time. Be prepared. Man, these guys won't leave the grudge, will they? They set all that up just to find him. Hey, there's my partner. Oh. I'm just, I was just giving a good long think to the all clucking chicken situation when I saw everyone running around the tree here. So what's the story, kid? I read about your chicken, Yiga. Mm. Uh-huh, I see. Well, I had a suspicion that a cuckoo uh, chicken couldn't yap to save its life. But I didn't suspect this was a Yiga clan. Uh, those chumps really knew how to lure us in by mentioning Zelda. Guess we walked right into that one, but at least this will make one heck of a newspaper story. All those who put their faith in that chicken's prophecies, people need to know the truth, or else they'll fall for more of their lies in the future. Oracles, my tail feathers. You know, we've now chased five of these leads that might have had something to do with Zelda. Your investigations are the talk of the office. You've really shown some promise. <laughs> And it turns out the paper is doing really well thanks to the articles. This is why Tracy told me we're both getting raises. Go on and add this to your nest. Do I get a bonus? Get a load, giving us a big scoop. Not bad for a day's work. You keep that up and I'll have no choice but to keep you on as my partner for a long, long time. But enough crowing. If I want to meet my deadline, I'd better get back to the office and start writing this up. See you, kid. So long. some swords out of it um what's the next one it seems the giga have kidnapped zelda the ruffians left uh, behind a single clue we have taken zelda to the carved out heart of the towering twins the word twin seems to have caught Pen's attention. <laughs> All right, maybe we have time for one more.
What's my reward, by the way? Hi. Oh. Ah. You can now register an additional horse. I mean, I got enough horses at this point. Oh. Oh. Pen's up top, isn't he? Hey partner, you heard anything? Any new chirps and warbles? I'll keep I'll keep watch, but I doubt the Yiga are dumb enough to try anything during the day. The message the Yiga clan left behind, we have taken Zelda to the carved out heart of the towering twins. Twins must be connected to Dueling Peak Stable. But that's all I've got. The chirps and warbles around this story are far too important to ignore. The princess's life could be on the line. Keep your eyes and ears open. So he said probably not the daytime. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to sleep till night. And we're going to do it in the Melania bed. And we're going to have the extra heart and stamina. And then we're going to go look, I guess, in the heart. Somewhere there there might be a cave or something like that over there a Yiga cave who knows uh. oh. I didn't want a good morning <sighs> I gotta do it again now. Well, you know, we'll just go sit by the fire now. Oh Yeah, we gotta give him more food. We gotta keep upgrading easy boy. And Goldie, why not? And Leia. And Muppet. And Beastie Boy. And She-Ra. Okay. Oh. Oh. Great. Ah. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go get him. Here we go. In the heart. Let's see if the dialogue changes at all. message you kind of left behind we have taken Zelda yep twins must be connected to the dueling peaks clues huh only thing I can think of is we need to get back up here He said he, he didn't think anything could happen around daytime. But I think there's probably some sort of cave or something around here.
Okay, we need some climbing pants. Where are the climbing pants? Here's the froggy sleeve. We're gonna be using that. Um, there we go. A little faster. Imagine if we get the rest of the climbing suit. See what's up there. There we go. It said the heart of the, um What the heck was that? What's flying Did you guys see that shadow? What's going on? Is that you, Zelda? Are you leading us? I really don't know where to even start. I'm just wondering if there might be a cave over here somewhere. I also feel like I kind of remember, and maybe it was at Dueling Peaks. I don't know for sure. It's rain. I'm ready for this. Look at that. Oh, oh, it still slides a little bit. But I bet it does a lot better when, um,. You get the full outfit, too. Okay, so guys, I've got this memory. That... I almost want to say it was Dueling Peaks. Yeah, I think it was. Wasn't there, at one time, two caves here and somewhere here and they were they were oh yes because they were dueling shrines or it was it was like shrines and um it was a puzzle and each one had numbers in it like a combination that affected the other one and i think it was here um it was right here top and bottom and you had to get from one to the other to figure that out. I, I feel like I remember doing that and I remember doing it on a live stream. Now I can't remember if that was a Patreon live stream or what, but So there's no telling. Let's look down here before we keep jumping around. Oh. Is that a cave? Guys, is that a cave? 
Do you see the black up ahead? That's a cave, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is this the same? Look. This is it. This is where we... All right, let's um, let's saddle up, guys. This is this is where we had those shrines, I think. Oh, we gotta use bulbous pants. Dueling Peaks South Cave. shield wait do I have anything yep. I want to get rid of probably not with that one yeah okay see that design that makes me wonder if Korok. Or maybe not. There is a... Yep, there is definitely it. <coughs> it's not Korok. <coughs> That's how we get that door open. And how much do you want to bet? That's where Yiga are at. We need to... So there's a couple of rocks here. Now, two of these may already be on the right ones. But, here's my question. Is it possible that to find the code that you need for these, to find that pattern, do we need to go to the other cave? Is this going to mirror what that was in Breath of the Wild? To get this door open. And if we do that, is this is this where they are? Are they on the other side of this wall? Now there's a couple strategies we can certainly use. But we don't really have any way of telling. The long way would be, for instance, to pick this up. Oops. To pick this up. <laughs> drop it. And then go like this. Okay, and then move the rock to another one. Like that. And do it all over again. But here's the problem with this. We have no guarantee that those rocks right there, the ones that were already here, are the right ones. <laughs> Man, it's very tempting to go down to that other cave because it really wouldn't surprise me. I think that's what I'm going to do. 
and save myself the time. I think that's probably what it wants me to do. I'm just, uh, here's what I'm gonna do. Travel medallion. Here. Uh, let's save it. Okay. And, uh, oops, nope, nope, nope. Uh, let's travel medallion. Beautiful. Right down to the other cave. There it is. How much you want to bet we're going to find? Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. meat oops ooh do you hear that sound all right, something's up. Master Sword doesn't even have its thing anymore, which is great because now I can try it on that silver, uh, no, Gleok Frosthorn. Let's go with that. Well, these are even higher rated though. Silver, really? That's higher than the Gleok? Sign me up. Adds 32. That means this thing has got a power of um There it is. We did it. We did it. Um this was it. This is what I thought. This is what I thought. Okay, I'm excited because it works the same way as the other game with the uh with them uh not mirroring each other, but you have to go to one to figure it out. Oh, that makes me really happy that I did this. Okay. Where's my sword? There you go. Anything else here? Now, I bet we're gonna have to fast travel up. Because, um, the other K, no, we don't, we, we, we put a travel medallion down. So let's take a picture of this. I'm not sure which way that triangle goes, but we are going to guess. We're gonna go like that. Okay. Looking good, Link, looking good. Here we go, I think we have a sound strategy. It's been a good episode. I felt good about this episode. I got so nervous during that Gleok fight, but I feel like we've done some really good things. Kind of proud of this episode, if I'm being honest. Okay, uh, let's take a look. We have, we do have a triangle, and we're gonna find out. Thank you. Okay, so, you, oops, you can kind of look. It kind of goes over like one, two, three, and then four in the corner. I'm gonna try that. I go one. Two. 
three. Like it was like that. And then four in the corner. I think that's what we want. Yes. There we go, guys. Oh, we have a chest, but we don't necessarily have the Yiga clan. Well, look at that. What do we got? Oh my word, guys, it's Tingle. It's the, um, what's his name? We just solved the, uh, oh, what do you call it? This was once a man who claimed to be the very reincarnation of a fairy. He treasured this shirt, and so will you. After all, it's a rather rare find. Cool, uh, the min, min, Misco, that's what it was, Misco. This goes treasure. Well, that's a really good find, and that was on our list of things to do. But that doesn't help us with where the Yiga are, who are who have captured, or say they've captured Zelda. It's also 10, 10 a.m. Where are they? Hmm. How do we get to where it was talking about? The heart of the peaks. Now, he did mention Ken did mention the idea that maybe we want to try to get some clues. Now, I don't know if that means we gotta talk to some people. And maybe that is something that we need to do. Fairy. Yeah, I don't know, guys. But while we're here. Let's see if she can do anything else. This fairy. I don't go to this one very much. Sure are a lot of falling rocks. Katera. Mm. Yeah, I can enhance your clothing. Mm. <clears throat> okay, what do you got? Though good, the froggy sleeve. Ah. Mm. Good, we can bring that up. <sighs> can she do another one? She might be able to just make that one go up again. Ma? You know, strength enhancing clothing sometimes draws out its true power, but only if you wear the whole set. Oh. Another clothes, but it looks like that's not possible. Well, let's see what what else we need though. <laughs> I didn't do that with the other fairy. Let's see what else uh, we actually could use. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. So that needs begoblin stuff. I keep using the horns uh, as weapons, so and we need amber, so we need a lot to bring that up. And the Sundalions, yep. And the Talons. We need Zelda's Talons, but we have enough, definitely enough Silent Princess. I just need Sundalions, and I know where to get those. All right, how are we looking on, like, pants? Electric key swing, we only need three more to, to do those. I just want to get them, I need to get some pants up to the level that these are, and it's crazy that those are a 12. Um, Barbarian leg Lionel. I gotta fight some Lionels. Okay. There, yeah, that's why we needed the blue nightshade was because of the stealth. That's why I was. I knew I needed to needed them somewhere. Oh, you know what? I could have uh, upgraded if I hadn't used all those Aracuda eyeballs. I had then we could have uh, upgraded. And more sticky lizards. Okay. Thank you, Kotera. I'm at a loss on this other mission. I have no idea. <clears throat> but like I said, I, I I wasn't really sure how long these stable pen missions were going to take. And uh, it wouldn't surprise me if it takes us a few episodes to get through them all. Especially because there, there are going to be squirrel moments, of course. You know, there's going to be things that we come across that are just things that are going to distract us along the way. I did not mean to go down that far. Oh, he mentioned talking to people for clues. Let's see what we can find. I want that pumpkin. Oh, hello, you're a traveler, aren't you? But I guess uh, we're all travelers, aren't we, in one way or another? Uh, you haven't by chance heard about a legendary pumpkin, have you? A pumpkin? Never heard of it. A legendary sword, you say? And it's called the Master Sword? Oh. Wait, hey, so then the Master Gourd I'm looking for, is it possible that I misheard that they were talking about the Master Sword? Mm. Nah, why just the other day? I heard a rumor about the Master Gourd being in the Lost Woods. <laughs> Guess you misheard, friend. So, that's so embarrassing for you. Ha 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 ha. Nerd. Alright. Um. Hey, pups. Ah. Oh. Well, well, traveler. Welcome to Dueling Peaks. You need a guide to the roads around here. Mm. Things have changed around here lately. There's been a lot of changes. Yep. Oh. Let's go inside and talk to anybody, see if there's clues. Hey, what say you? What's this? Yiga napping, okay. Bold declaration of foul crime. The Yiga are that group of Sheikah who went rogue and have it uh, out for the royal family of Hyrule. We have taken Zelda to the carved out heart of the towering twins. That's disturbing imagery. Hmm, twins, do they mean do huh? carved out heart? 
That's really close to here. Could it be? Carved out heart. Let's go. Gosh, you know what? I can't just do it by, uh... Oh, wait. I'll attack up. <sighs> Stormy weather attack. Energizing fish skewer. I'm just gonna use that because, uh... Does that look like that's either sticking out of the wall or there's a carved heart? Do you see why I feel that way? Hang on. I'm going to float over to it. It looked like it could have been something. Now, it may have just been sticking out of the wall. Yeah, that's all it was. From where I was, it seemed like it could have been a heart, a carved out cave. Some bad guys ready to to fight for sure, but it's really hard to do that.
don't see a carved out heart, guys. I don't see one. Here, let's go back here. Travel and then come back out. We'll be we'll have some high ground. Um, not sure where we're gonna find the carved out heart. I'm looking topographically here at the map. I don't see anything that looks like a heart. Uh, nope, I keep seeing little dark spaces. I'm like, wait, is that a heart up there? Like right above where his head is? I, I know that's not a heart, but. Huh. I mean, there's, it's crazy. Zelda, where are you? We need some help. Maybe you can give us the dragon eyes view. Oh, guys, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. I meant to jump and then float over and it was one of those things where sometimes I know it sounds like a back in the 80s when we were all like it's not jumping it didn't jump you know when we hit the wrong button or whatever it it really doesn't always jump when I tell it to up here I wanted to go check out so guys I'm not really sure I'm not sure what to think the heart of the dueling peaks I've looked in the we, we checked out the caves and we ended up getting the other tingle armor which was cool kind of ineffective it looks like but neat to collect I mean, I guess you could work to try to upgrade it. Close. There. Once we get up here, we can... Oh, that took a lot of stamina on that jump. I just don't know. The heart. Is there anything over there? Jump this time. <laughs> Let's see. Really glad it's not raining. This is a hard mission. 
It may not actually be that hard it, as far as once we actually find the Yiga. The trap that they've set for Link, but... There are a lot of shadows here. Uh... What do you guys think? Nice to see her again, isn't it? I miss that friendly face and... <laughs> you know that's not her though. That would be the Yigas once again. That's just playing with Link's heart too much. And so he's gonna put on his bulbous pants. And he's going to take out the Master Sword. With his gloom shield. And they're gonna get it. Link, you came to save me. You recognize who I am, right? I knew you'd come and save me. Quickly, do something to open this cage. <laughs> Only the valiant, golden-haired knight known as Link could move such a sturdy cage like that. Blah, I knew we'd lure in s some heroic wannabes if we use Zelda as bait, but we'd even manage to snare you. Hey, don't worry. Once we find the real Zelda, we'll send her to join you. <laughs> All right, everybody. This is definitely the golden haired golden boy. Get it. Let you off easy for now, but don't get used to it. We won't hold back next time. Be prepared. Hi. Hey, partner, what are you up to down there? Oh, I've been circling the area for leads. I was sure that the word twins in that vicious letter was referring to Dooley mm. Peaks. Now, I'm not so sure I found nothing at all anywhere around here. What about you? Have you figured anything out on your end? What? You're you're saying the Yiga sent us that letter all to lure you into a trap? Or why would the Yiga give a hoot about you, partner? Kind of tooting your own horn there a little bit. <laughs> anyway, I wonder if he's ever gonna find out the truth. Getting back on track here, it's a huge relief knowing that Princess Zelda hasn't actually been kidnapped. Mm. We've worked together to chase six of the stories relating to the Zel to Zelda. Uh, you've really gotten the hang of things. You could probably get a full-time job at the paper if you want to. 
Go on and add this to your nest. I'll head off and start pecking away at an article about the Yiga Clan scheme. People need to know. So we're along. Man, what kind of therapy is Link gonna need after all this? The PTSD that this version of Link has had to go through. I mean, think about it. Korok? That would be nice. I mean, this guy right here gets recruited a hundred years ago to protect the princess in the process of that he and the princess develop a bond i believe in this age there's enough evidence to show that that bond became romantic And then, on top of all that, he, they, they fight the blight, the calamity, but the calamity gets the best of them. And then, Link gets hurt to the point where he has to go basically in like a Star Wars back to tank to heal. And then he spends a hundred years. All of his friends are either extremely aged or they've died of old age. Or they were killed by the calamity. And this princess that he swore to protect, he's in love with, they fight and they fight and, and they fight and they beat the calamity. And then you think, hey, that's great. And then... Just when things are going good, they got a house in Hatino, living the good life together, restoring everything back to its glory. Shrine? After all that, then it turns out the Calamity was basically just a glorified shadow of what's to come because the real Ganon was buried under the castle the whole time. Buried like the troll from Ernest Scared Stupid. If you haven't seen that movie, go check that out. And I'm not gonna make it. Dang it. I'm not gonna make it. I was gonna try and get to that. I, I might make it. And so after discovering that Really? I can't do it with the master sword, it's not sharp. It's blunt. They're gonna be bees? <laughs> so then after discovering Ganon, the love of, after all this work, after all of this work, guys, all of it, like the life they lived together, the way they fought, the hundred years, the everything else, he finally has a life with her. And, you know, and then after, after all of that, we lose her. She goes back in time 
And we've got this resonating hope that we're going to get her back. But the only way for her that she sees fit to save him, and probably is not wrong... It's, she has to, give herself up and become a dragon. And now, here he is, knowing the truth of that, seeing the past, knowing the truth, and still having to deal with all of these people, specifically the Yiga clan, that keeps playing with his heart. And so all he keeps seeing is Zelda, 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 Zelda. And all we know, everybody's wondering where the real Zelda is, but we know the truth. And the only way to actually get in touch with Zelda is for him to continually keep Sky View, uh, Sky Tower jumping onto the head of a dragon. Like, after all this is done, you don't think he's going to need some PTSD oh. therapy? Because what is there left for Link? He's the kind of guy, though I may not look at I'm a monster hunter. I spend my days traveling the lands of Hyrule in pursuit of a myriad of prey. At the request of a fellow named Colton, I'm presently hunting bubble frogs. I've heard that uh, once such beast lurks in a cave in this very region. The question is which cave? So, I mean, he's lost. I mean, there's the life that Link lives is kind of isolated when you think about it. Yeah, there's a lot of people that care about him. But at the same time, it's like how Batman is always alone. Or Spider-Man. Sure, they have girlfriends until it's just those girlfriends they just disappear or they get kidnapped the bad guy goes after them and then they always have to come to that life of oh you know I I, I if I'm gonna live this life I can't I can't do this I can't I can't have love. And I feel like that's where Link is going to be. Like, how is Link, after everything we've been, is he just going to be like the old man in, in uh, you know, the movie Up? He just, he has that house in Terrytown. He's got Easy Boy and Zelda's two horses. He's, you know, he's going to have pictures of Zelda. But every, you know, he's just going to keep walking by the old picture of the gang from 100 years ago and put his hand on there and say... Night, night, Zelda. Good morning, Zelda. Whatever it is, and he'll just grow old and live. He's still a young kid. He's gonna have to live the rest of his life in Hyrule without her. Like it's give this man some therapy after everything he's been. Cause yeah, he's a young kid still, but he's technically over a hundred years old. You know, he's lived two lives. That's crazy. He can't even make an apple basket thing. Okay. I just want to see the Korok seed, that's all. Nope. There we go. But yeah, I mean, he had all of these friends, the people he grew up with, you know, the champions that he fought alongside. And then he gets put into, a, in, into the resurrection shrine and wakes up and everybody's gone. And now he's trying to live in this era. He's basically Captain America, you know? It's like everyone he loved is gone or grew old or whatever. And now this is it. Yeah. 
And the only constant that he's had, guys, the only constant in his life with the changing time, losing everyone in one era. I mean, even Impa, right? Grew old. And everybody who was in his life, he has lost. And the only constant, the only thing safe, the only thing that he could count on was Zelda. And she's gone now. And she's up there, flying around somewhere with weird colored eyes. It's kind of a sad story when you think about it. Unless there's some way that that sacrifice can be reversed. But I don't know if it can. Hmm. I don't know what got me on that. Sorry guys, I'm... I'm still just contemplating this story. There's a lot to unpack with this. That's something I've been thinking about with this game. I've been thinking about the story. And when you contemplate it, it's it's not a bad written story. It's just a, it's kind of a love tragedy. Chasing that little fox around. That would be a nice rock hammer, actually. A lot better than this guy. Oh, it wasn't actually that much better. It's just more durable. Anyway, so anyways, that's just my thoughts today on the game. My my reaction, you know, guys, I've been I've been getting a little more honest with just my feelings on the story. 
I don't think it's... The thing is, I, I don't think it's bad. It's actually a wonderfully written, beautiful love tragedy. I just... Because I love these characters, it's sad. And it makes me sad for them. You know, I've come to love them. I've come to be, because of the amount of time that I've put into this, like any TV series you watch or book series you read or anything like that. It's, it's something where I kind of feel deflated because as a gamer, as someone who spent, you know, hundreds of hours of my life working to make sure these characters had a write off in the sunset ending. I kind of feel like that got taken away, and it just is what it is. that up. No, I'm sure this will reset, and let me put... I don't even know where I am on the map anymore. Okay. We'll come back to it. Is that... Oh yeah, that... we've been over there. I'm assuming I need to wait for this to reset and get back in place. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> you know what? Got it. Nice. All right, let me take this out. Anyway, guys, that's just my personal feelings. That's my reaction to the game so far. It's brilliantly written and it does what it's supposed to do. Um, it definitely you know, invokes a, a reaction, a sad feeling. 
And who wants to be sad? That's the thing. I know sometimes there's the... It's a fictional story and it's easy, you know, you, you feel sad about it. And you, but you can sit back and go, oh, but it was beautiful, you know, in the end. And I, I have a feeling that this game could very much offer some massive opportunity for tears depending on how the end of it actually goes. Okay. There's that other shrine, the other proving grounds. Well, guys, I'm sorry. I I, uh, I got rambling on this like reaction tyrant kind of or tirade kind of thing, and uh, and then I kind of got off mission. But we will get back on mission. RMS, according to Penn, a voice has been heard at Highland Stable. Company Penn at night and investigate the haunting voice. Well, let's travel over. Um, I don't think I'm going to do this particular one. I think we're going to continue doing these stable uh, missions with Penn in our next episode, and it'll be kind of a part two. Um, as far as these, or who knows, we may need to keep discovering more as well. I almost want to say that one of the short, there was a, ooh. How cocky do I feel like? Um. <laughs> Is this where we had the kid up in the tree lighting it all up? That was him, right? Up there. He was in the band. All right. Um, there you are. All right. Well, let's save it. I was starting to say, I I think there might have been a couple of stables like that we recently discovered where I may have seen Penn there, but I didn't talk to him. So we may have to go make the round at the stables and make sure we've got them all. But guys, that was a good episode. Sorry, I, I, if I brought the mood down by sharing my feelings about um, the story, um, it, it just, it, it it's so well done. It's so well done. And it triggers them. It's so well done in a way that it, 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 it stirs up and triggers up these emotions uh, with the story. And so it's like, oh man, I love it. it. It's written so well, but 
I don't want to be sad. You know, at the same time, I'm like, I want, I want to get Zelda back. And for some reason, I'm kind of like, because I'm so invested in these characters and their success, I, I want this to work out in the end for both of them, you know, for Link and her. So, and Easy Boy, all right? Easy Boy needs a, needs a mom and a dad, you know? And so doesn't Goldie and Leia. So they can all live happily ever after looking out on Terrytown, you know? And it'll be a, it'll be a nice life. Anyway, that's that's in my fantasy world, but uh, I, I really am enjoying this. I thought today was a great episode uh, for me. I, you know, guys, I beat a Gleok, and how cool was it? Not to keep harping on it, but with the blood moon and the imagery of Zelda flying over, still looking over, with a, that felt like a little bit of hope, like a little bit of light in the darkness there, you know, and we beat the Gleok. And then we got the horse back, and we've been doing these missions at the stables, and we've been getting that done. Uh, we found another Tingle uh, piece of armor, you know, with the Misko's treasure. We discovered that. So this was a good episode. We got a lot done, and I had a blast, and I hope you guys had a blast as well. But for now, that's going to be the end of this episode, and then when we come back... Um, next time, we're going to do this mission and continue on uh, plowing through these stable missions with Penn. But that's going to be next time. Well, okay, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. And again, that was a lot of fun. Uh, we we got a lot done. I shared some feelings. Uh, it, it was good. It was a good episode. And uh, I, I'm really really going to remember this playthrough and it's not that it's anywhere close to being over but you know when you when you put it all together it really is kind of one story when you put breath of the wild and tears of the kingdom together and it's just been such a long journey through both games and uh i'm I, i'm loving it you know i mean i've gone through so many eras of my life just since starting since starting my my journey through zelda you know in, in this age of zelda anyway so uh this was a lot of fun and i really hope you guys are having fun with it i i am too and and uh i'm looking forward to doing this again looking forward to picking up some more pen missions uh because i want to keep seeing if we can get more armor um, the sticky frog armor it really did help with climbing when I did wear it and I'm thinking that that was just the top so if we can get the pants too um, and get the entire outfit then we won't be slipping in the rain at all which would be really nice and uh, I do want to keep finding more blue nightshades because I do want to upgrade all of the stealth um, armor the Yiga armor and uh, there's just some other things I want to do. We, we need to get some more Sundalions, and we are going to have to find Zelda. She's been popping up almost every single episode. And even though we didn't get on her in this episode, we did see her, um, you know, when we were fighting the Gleok. And again, I think that was awesome, you know, because I, I, this is playtime for me, right? This is pretend. I'm playing a game, but it, it's like, it's like pretend, you know, and you know, in my story, I'm sitting here thinking, look at the timing, it's, all this is going on, and you're fighting, and then you look up, and there's Zelda flying over, and it's like, you got this, Link, you know, and so, uh, it was, it was kind of cool, you know, so she did show her face in this episode, and, uh, she's been, she's been almost here every episode now for a while, so, uh, we do need to get back on her, we do need to get a Talon, um, you know, and this time, I'm going to try some farming the way that you guys suggested it. You know, I'll go for the Talon, wait 10 minutes, go back, or, or stay on, you know. And I won't put that in the video, but we'll skip ahead and try to get some Dragon Parts, which will be good too. So we can we can upgrade, you know, upgrade and, and keep getting better, better clothes. Uh, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching this. I can't wait to keep playing with you. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and like it. Uh, and uh, also make sure to subscribe for more content. And also hang out with us at Discord. The link for that is down below. And ultimately, uh, another big thing, if you'd like to hang out with us even more on Wednesday nights for the Patreon exclusive live stream, if you would like early release content, exclusive content, if you would like free merchandise, any of that, then make sure to hop on over and get signed up at Patreon by going to this link right here. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. It's a real joy for me to share these game experiences with you. And I'm so glad that I'm not doing this alone, that I'm bringing you guys on the journey with me. 
and uh, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this. Uh, it's actually really late for me. It's almost one o'clock in the morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and edit this video and get it out to Patreon as soon as I can, and, uh, and I'm just looking forward to continuing on the journey with you. I will talk to you soon, but until then, take it easy.